curves I pick up. Yo, what's going on, good people? All right, so I'm, I'm really dressed down right now. My hair looking a hot mess. I just got one or whatever because right now I'm taking a five-hour drive down to uh, Florida. One of my favorite places is Destin, Florida. I freaking love Destin, Florida. So I'm about to take y'all on this journey with me. So we just gonna vlog this whole trip. You're gonna ride down there with me. You're gonna be down there when I go to the beach. Y'all make sure y'all stick around, stay to the end, because you want to see every single thing that happened while down here in Destin, Florida. It's a long drive, but it's gonna be worth it. So y'all stick around and let's go. So if you don't know, I drive a Kia, right? And so we about to go home to the Kia plant, baby. Hey, West Point, Georgia, where the Kias are made at. Hey, we're home, honey, we're home. I've just entered sweet home, Alabama. I had this uh, big old cup of coffee right here. And if you don't know, coffee runs through you. So uh, I see this rest area right here and a mile. Yeah, I'm gonna be stopping here. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm about to blow. <laughs> I'm about to go blow this mouth up. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. So I got a little hungry. Had to stop off at Burger King, grab me an Impossible Whopper. So I got the Whopper and I wanted it on the sourdough bread like this. Because the sourdough bread, I don't know, it's just, it brings a different flavor aspect to it. So I get out here and I open it up. And man, the first time I got the sourdough bread, but then I had two beef patties with bacon and everything. I was like, yeah, this ain't the right one. So um, went on ahead and took it back in. Gave me the right one. You know your ass in the country <laughs> when all you see seeing is just farmland and cows. That's it. Look at it. Look at this. And big shout out to Rude Jude and the All Out Show, man, for keeping me entertained this entire freaking ride to Florida. Hey, I'll go out with you. <laughs> oh, let me get a show. Next thing you know. <laughs> He can't do anything for me. Beat it. Yeah. What's, a, what's with this 20? <laughs> yeah, now John's got a SoundCloud roommate. Yeah, it shows you how rock bottom he's gotten. <laughs> like, Wants to come on. <laughs> man, y'all see how beautiful this is right here, man. Like, look at this. I mean, these trees are so perfect in this. It's a national forest. I forget which one it is, but man, the joke is really, really nice, man. You know you're in the country when you got Dollar Generals. Dollar, Dollar General is everywhere in the country. Like Dollar General is everywhere. If you don't see a Dollar General, you're not in the country. So I just touched down in Florida. A little bit, uh, a little bit more ways to go. Probably about you know, 45 minutes, and I will be at my destination. Let's go, Destin, baby. Hey, it's time to relax, get baked on this beach. Yo, look at the view. Look at the view. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Hold up, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, right there, right there. Then we come on this side right here. You see that side right there? Yeah, yeah, let's go, all the boats over there chilling. We got the big ass hotel right there. That's not where I'm staying, I wish I was, but nope. So we doing, we got the boaters right there. Yo, it's about to be so lit. Excuse the crack of my windshield right there. Nobody care. But yo, it's about to be so freaking lit. I'm so freaking go. Florida, baby. Let's go. Just arrived at the hotel, ready to check in. Got to wait outside until I guess I can go in. They have a limit. So, about to check in. Get up to the room. Change. Go to the beach. All right. Made it to the room. Let's go ahead and see what it's looking like. Okay, not too shabby. Cool couple beds, TV right there, me right there in the mirror. Okay, it's cool. I can dig it.
Y'all, I'm about to go and cool off in this water right here. Chill on this beach. Hey, let's have some fun. Let's go. Sand's so freaking white. Man, this joint is so nice, man. Freaking love it. So look at my hair. <laughs> yo, look at my freaking hair right now. It's like everywhere, but yo, I don't care. I forgot to take my earrings off. I'm gonna take them truckers off in a minute. But I don't care, it's just, dog. This is what you just call peace, man. Like there's nothing, no other word to describe it, but peace. The water is clear. I'm gonna take y'all out there and show y'all the water in a minute. So you see how clear it is. Let y'all get a little bit of this taste of this, this water action. Hold up, let me put y'all in my little secure pouch. Y'all, look how clear this water is. This is how my hair looks when I get out of the beach. <laughs> when I get out of the water, this is what my hair looks like. Jeez Louise. So any and every time that I'm in Destin, no matter how many times I come, I have to go to my favorite place here in Destin, right here, the Donut Hole. They have literally the best key lime pie. Check out the key lime pie right there. Man, it so, looks so freaking good. Tell me that don't look good. And then I had to test out their peanut butter pie. Look at that right there, y'all. So right now, I'm about to go and hang out with my friends. Uh, about to go to the bowling alley. It's a little late, but they close at 2 o'clock. So, hey, just here to have a good time. So right now we came out to the bowling alley. We got the little uh, what is this thing called? Uh, cosmic, where the lanes are glowing in the dark and stuff. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. Talk about peace and just the serenity. Just listening to the water. Look at the look at the moon shine on the water right there. Dog, oh, that is freaking beautiful. Like this type of stuff really puts me in a calm place. Y'all know what this is. If you have not seen this episode, go back and check it out. Good old Bucky's. The moon is bouncing off the water. One of the most beautiful sights. And you just hearing the water just crashing. So I'm going into this place for breakfast called The Nature Baker. And it's an all-vegan, um, gluten-free donut shop. Um, I just left getting some vegan donuts from The Nature Baker. And now, I'm about to go to one of my favorite spots uh, when I'm here in Destin. It's called Burrito Del Sol. And they have this burrito where they use this marinated tempeh. For the burrito, oh my God, it's called the Baja joint. Suck is so good. So I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to head back to the room and I'm going to let y'all see how that and these donuts taste. This is my burrito joint right here with the tempeh. I broke it open for you so you can see the inside. That's that tempeh right there that I was talking about. Man, this burrito is so freaking good. But now let's look at the donuts. I got this lemon donut. Again, this is all vegan, gluten-free. The gluten doesn't really bother me. That's a chocolate donut. That's a cinnamon donut right there. And then this is a strawberry with the fresh freeze dried strawberry right there. Yo. Mm, mm -mm. This is so freaking good. It's got the tempeh, it's got red cabbage in there. You got some rice, you got some black beans. And then you got this Baja sauce. Amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all. Burrito Del Sol never misses. They never miss. I'm going to try one of these donuts for you. This is the lemon joint I was just showing you right here. Vegan. Gluten free. I hope the gluten free don't take away from the flavor. Let's see. Mmm. That's really good. 
That is a really good donut. It's it's dense. It's kind of crumbly. It's not like your normal uh, fried donut. The lemon is like powerful. It stands out by itself. Freaking amazing. All right, you guys, so right now, I'm walking to go and do this dolphin tour, which is right across the street. So once we get on the boat, or once I get on the boat, then uh, I'll show you what it's looking like. Maybe we we'll go get to see some dolphins. Let's see. Bird boat. It's a boat full of birds. What is that? This right here is a funeral burial. A sea burial, actually. One of the fishermen passed away and all the guys that get together to scatter the ashes on the sea. It's pretty cool. R.I.P. to that fisherman. Look at these freaking waves, man. The boat's having to get over these waves right now and break through them. These swells are really big right now. Just finished up doing the dolphin tour. All that wind blew my hair crazy. But when has my hair not been looking crazy? Whatever. Got a chance to see a couple of dolphins. Wasn't anything spectacular, but you know what? What it was, it was my first time on the open ocean on a boat. I've never been on a boat on the open ocean because I've always had a fear of being on a boat in the open ocean. So this was to help me get over that fear. And uh, it went pretty well. So all in all, that went well. So now, I'm about to go grab the car, go find something to eat. I'm about to go and eat in this place called uh, Fud Puckers. And Fud Puckers has this um, alligator farm. So we are gonna see if we can see some alligator. Just want y'all to remember that. You ain't been pucked until you've been Fud Pucked. Gator don't play no shit. You hear? You feel me? Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. Yeah, that's a whole pit of alligators. What if I fell down in that pit right now? Axe. The next day, the motherfucker was dead. It pays to ride solo, cause if not, I would have been waiting for about two, two and a half hours, and I got on the wait list. Got to see at the bar. Pays to ride solo sometimes. This is a veggie burger with fried jalapenos, pepper jack cheese, crispy fries. I drank in excess. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> that was fun. I'm at this place called Island Wing Company. And I gotta show y'all what I got. It's a joint called a fish bowl. It's not huge, but it's big enough. It's a vodka based drink. Junk it look like it's going to be good. Y'all, I got this, uh, these corn nuggets. It's these new, uh, it's these vegan nuggets, but it's with the corn product. So this one is like an orange ginger. And that one's like a, uh, what is that? Caribbean, some type of Caribbean with the fries. Pretty good. So I just came from the movies watching A Quiet Place 2. And oh my God. You all have to absolutely must go and see this movie. There's nothing left. It's so freaking intense. Yo. 
Look at that moon right there. This is dope. Wow. I just want to give y'all my final thought on my last night at the beach. So, um, I know you can't see me well at all, really. Uh, but if y'all can just bear with it for a second, listen to this, what I got to say right here. I don't think you guys fully understand why this is such uh, a great thing for me. It brings me this absolute peace and I'm honestly just even getting choked up just thinking about it because we, we literally, we, we go every single day working, working, people arguing, hustling, bustle. You see all this just crap going on in your neighborhoods and your communities and the states and the world. You can see all this stuff going on. Most of which doesn't matter. None of it matters. None of it matters. Things that we think are important are absolutely not important. So then when you get back out and you get to see things like this where it's just the waves crashing and it's not crowded and it's just peaceful and the wind is blowing. If you've got a lake, if you've got a nature path in the forest, just get back in nature. Let all the stuff go that is day to day, just let it go and get back in nature. That's where you find peace. Because that's where we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to be trapped in a concrete world called a city. This is my last night. Uh, and I just had to come out here just to get just a little bit. Just a little bit. Vacation is over, folks. Man, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed myself. Now it's time to make this uh, this trip back all the way home. Good five-hour drive. But before I get back to... Yeah, look, y'all see, I, I didn't bring my shaver, so I'm all, man, looking scruffy and everything. It don't even matter. But I got to make one stop before I make my complete trip back home. So um, we're going to stop by there, and I'm going to show y'all what that is right now. I figured since I was passing by Montgomery, Alabama, I might as well stop over here at Wind Creek Casino. See if I could um, win me a little money. Last time I came here, I won 200 bucks. Last time I came here. So I'm gonna see if my luck is any good and I can win some money this time. Five hours later. Doing a damn thing. I saw a place out here that my boy Big Ben over something new, <clears throat> excuse me, has been telling me about for so long. Matter of fact, he didn't, he didn't really tell us, but he does these reviews on them and it's called Culver's. We don't have a Culver's close to where I am. I figured I would stop over here at Culver's, grab me a concrete mixer, and see what Big Ben is talking about. Yo, Ben, this Culver's concrete mixer? Dog, the ice cream is so freaking smooth. I think it's custard, so that's why it's a lot more smooth. But, yo, this is really, really good. Mmm. You didn't lie when it came to this one, boy. I just wish it was one closer. So I could actually try it when they come out with new stuff, but I'm glad I got to try it while I'm out here. So now I'm about to just make my way back to the crib, get through this rain, and um, that's going to be it. So as you can see, I made it back home, made it back safe, drove through that little rain and everything. I'm tired as crap, five and a half hour drive, plus all the other stuff. But thank you guys for taking this journey with me. Uh, I hope you enjoy this Destin, Florida vlog, man. If you enjoyed it uh, and you enjoy all our other content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, become a part of the Curbside family. If you enjoyed it, please comment down below. Below, I'm tired, y'all. Let me know what was your favorite part, what you liked, what you didn't like. Hope you liked everything. So, uh, man, take time out for yourself. Take time to go and relax. Take time to be at peace. Just take time, y'all. I really, really appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all, Nate and I. We appreciate y'all. Love y'all so much. And uh, yo, I'm probably about to uh, edit these clips we got to do. And I'm going my behind the bed. So thank you guys again. Love you. Peace.